with me. This next one is quite a departure for me. It's um, fishing for rainbow trout in a stock still water, which is um, nothing like what I usually do. I usually uh, go for the wild brown trout in the, in the stream. So it's it's sort of two contrasting elements of uh, the sport of trout fishing, trout fly fishing. Um, absolutely chalk and cheese, really. Uh, we've got a huge average size, maybe, I don't know, two and a half, three and a half pounds of these rainbow trout in the lake, uh, compared with <laughs> the sort of two or three ounce fish that uh, I find in my local stream. I'm not saying which is the right way to fish, which is the better, which is the worse, but um, you can judge for yourself, really. Um, it's a stocked still water, it's from a local club's um, still water, uh, similar to lots of them up and down the country, uh, maybe not quite as heavily stocked as some of the, the better known day ticket put and take um, trout fisheries, but uh, quite a high stock density nevertheless. Um, like I say, it's for you to judge whether it's too easy or whatever. Um, it's a new lake, it was only dug, what, four or five years ago, so it does look a little bit sort of uh, barren and sparse at the moment, but We've got a lot of saplings uh, planted and flower beds and I'm sure in a few years once it naturalises a little bit more it'll be a, a really lovely place to visit. Okay, so enjoy. See you later. Stock three times a year. Rainbows, we started putting a few brown trout in as well. But it's basically a rainbow trout fishery. And we're going to try. Pheasant tail nymph. Not a, well, not a pheasant tail nymph, it's uh, more of a sort of booby really. Thing, the bead head. Let's see what happens. Plunk it in, fish round the clock. Somewhere near. There we go, we're in. We're in. Won't take long. <laughs> Just shows if you see a fish move, try and cover it. Let's uh, get this thing on the reel. It's a strong fish, not sure.
try a slightly different uh, approach, just see what, what happens. We've got a little mini lure on there, a little sparkler, sort of fry. And by contrast, we've got a blue Zulu on, big bushy uh, dropper fly. Or something. Oh! Just missed it. Draw something up. Curiosity. Try again. Oh, I've got a reaction. Beast. Muddler minnow. Muddler minnow. It's a bit of a weird fighter, this one. Well, he's a good, strong fish. I mean, that's like a fresh one grills.
Oh, off you go. So here we are, back on the little river again. I wonder where you got to. Um, while you've been on your way here, I've uh, had a good bit of sport. So it's uh, it's been really nice. Um, the fish <laughs> are very tiny compared to the uh, the club lake, but boy, we've had some fun. The, the mayfly's just starting now, and I've got uh, I've tied on this. There we go. This big sort of chewed up mayfly done of mine you see it and uh, that's been bringing a few up only little fish again uh, but uh, I've noted a couple of bigger ones and uh, I'll certainly be, be coming back so don't forget subscribe share comment uh, and like um, it'd be good to see this channel grow and uh, it's, it's good to get feedback so I know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Okay, cheers, see you again next time. Yes! chaotic fight there we go that's nice wild brownie so the nymph does work there we go plant firmly in the scissors bad hair there and there's the first one tiny one from the others. That's the first one we try fly. Ah, there's another one. Another fly. I think that's what we were coming for. Another little battler. And this time, a little bit bigger.